Nola Gent here, five happiness, great Chinese food, yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent, let the good times roll. Five Happiness is located in the Girttown neighborhood of New Orleans at 3605 South Carrollton Avenue, which is about 10 minutes and four and a half miles away from the French Quarter. In this episode of our restaurant review vlog, first we feast with me on some great Chinese lunch specials as we enjoy this Chinese restaurant review video. This is a special time of year for Chinese food New Orleans celebrations and in this Chinese food review video, we will enjoy a Boxing Day lunch. Five Happiness Chinese Restaurant is a great place to get some good New Orleans Chinese food. So let's go ahead and check it out inside. This place is really popular on Christmas Day as Chinese restaurants have traditionally been among the few restaurants open on Christmas Day. But these days, we do have a wider selection of options to choose from. It still gets really crowded here on Christmas Day, and with the pandemic requirements of less capacity, I decided to wait until Boxing Day to enjoy my traditional Chinese food experience as a Boxing Day lunch. So a happy Boxing Day to everybody out there. So we're gonna check out this dining room here. This one's uh, the back area. And then we look back into the room we entered on and you see they have a bar right there and then the main dining room right there to the left for us. So we're going to be seated in the main dining room. I've seen so many changes in this restaurant. Before Hurricane Katrina, this was definitely the best Chinese restaurant in all of the New Orleans area. Um, in those days, they used to have all of their staff that were young men that all had the exact same haircut and matching uniforms. And uh, those were fun days, and I miss those days. Now, they do have a fish tank here that's also entertaining to a lot of people now. Unfortunately, after Katrina, the Chinese food never got quite back up to as good as it was, according to everybody that I know. It's still good, it's just not the best like it used to be, unfortunately. So, uh, we also have all of these new decorations in here. So, this uh, robe here was never here in the past. So, that was a new addition they made right after Katrina. When they had to remodel, they did take on some water. But let's go ahead and look at the lunch special menu and see what we're going to get today. So, they have their pork selection with sweet and sour pork or chicken, mushu pork with two pancakes, shredded pork and hot garlic sauce, twice cooked pork, chicken with mugu gai pan, boneless fried chicken or mandarin chicken, hunan chicken, sliced chicken and hot garlic sauce, chicken with snow pea pods and black mushrooms, beef with pepper steak, beef with hot garlic sauce, beef with assorted Chinese vegetables, hunan beef, Mongolian beef, and then we have our seafood options with hunan shrimp, shrimp and hot garlic sauce, shrimp with assorted Chinese vegetables, shrimp and lobster sauce, pepper shrimp and black bean sauce, and then popular with shrimp egg foo young, combination fried rice, combination chow mein, vegetarian delight, triple delight saute with vegetables and brown sauce, combination of chicken, beef and shrimp and with vegetables, and then bean curd with vegetables and brown sauce and general's chicken. And you get a selection of a choice of your daily soup of wonton, hot and sour soup, egg drop and vegetable, shrimp fried rice or steamed white or brown rice and fried wonton. And you can upgrade to an egg roll instead of the wonton. So I'm going to start off with a soup and then they also give you the little fried crispy things with the duck sauce and the spicy Chinese mustard. So I'm going to be switching back and forth between three meals I had here with three different entrees. So this is Boxing Day here and then we'll go back to two other times. So enjoy. Little egg drop soup. So comment below and let me know what you think about this format where we're doing a little time travel going back and forth between three separate meals I enjoyed here. And let me know what you did for Boxing Day as well. Comment below. They do have a good egg drop soup here and uh, their hot and sour soup is also very popular with a lot of people. And go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it also to make this a really great Boxing Day in the end. And for those of you out there that don't know what Boxing Day is, it's the day after Christmas and it's traditionally celebrated throughout the English-speaking world except in the USA for the most part. So 
We got left out, but everywhere else, Boxing Day is a holiday for the rest of the English-speaking world. So I completely destroyed the soup on all three occasions. Now we're going to be enjoying my main entree here on Boxing Day with my Mugu Gai Pan. It is one of my favorite dishes they offer here. Now we're going to start with our vegetable egg roll to get the meal warmed up and started. A little duck sauce here and then into this wonderful spicy mustard that really does have some kick and will clear your sinuses. Ooh, if you have sinus problems, that Chinese mustard can definitely help clear that up as it uh, definitely has a burn to it. The duck sauce definitely helps balance it out, though, with a little sweetness. So the combination of the two uh, definitely make for a great flavor combination that I do enjoy. So uh, no matter which time period I'm in, I enjoy my vegetable egg roll and my duck sauce and spicy mustard. Uh, they do have a regular egg roll with meat in it, but uh, I find that one a little too greasy for my taste. So I prefer this vegetable one just because it's... Uh, not a bunch of grease squirting out all over my shirt, which the other one, if you like that, uh, you should enjoy it. They do have some nice, greasy, delicious egg rolls for many people, but personally, I prefer the vegetable egg rolls myself as I find them uh, more pleasing to my palate so that I don't get grease all over myself. And they're usually really hot and uh, they can't burn your mouth with some of that grease. Okay, here we go. We're going to dig into the Mugu Gai Pan. So uh, we're going to mix it together with the rice. Now, one of my favorite things about Five Happiness is their shrimp fried rice really does have a lot of shrimp in here. And they're pretty decent sized shrimp. Most of the other Chinese restaurants in the area tend to use very, very tiny little itty bitty baby shrimp where these are a decent size. And they give you quite a good amount of meat and uh, definitely some good flavors in here. I do love a Mugu Gai Pan with all the good vegetables in there and uh, quite a decent amount of chicken. It's uh, definitely one of my more preferred dishes that I get pretty often. And then here we have a hot garlic chicken from one of my past lunch visits. Ooh, this is pretty good too. So I do enjoy this one. It's similar to the Mugu Gai Pan, but it's got a little extra spice and kick to it. So uh, it just depends what kind of mood you're in. You always get the shrimp fried rice with a nice size shrimp. And then it's just a variation based on what your entree is going to be. But they definitely uh, do a nice selection of vegetables for the most part. And I do enjoy these entrees a lot. As I feel like I'm getting some healthy nutritional vegetables in me. Some people have accused the New Orleans diet of not giving you enough vegetables and that the only vegetables most people in New Orleans get are through Chinese food. Ah, uh, that's not really true, but maybe it is for some people. Now here we have the shrimp and lobster sauce and this probably is my least favorite dish. It's way different than the uh, lobster sauce that every other place has. It's a more of a white sauce. So this one's way different. So it's not my favorite version of a shrimp and lobster sauce. Um, it's not terrible, it's just uh, way different than every other shrimp and lobster sauce I've ever had. So it just seems like a different kind of dish than a shrimp and lobster sauce. So it's not exactly what I'd usually expect from my experience with that dish at many other places. So um, it is still a decent dish, just it's, you know, when you don't get what you expect, you're a little less than uh, thrilled when you're like, wait, what is this? Didn't uh, think this was what I ordered, but oh well. It's still enjoyable. It seems more like a shrimp with garlic sauce, really, than a shrimp with lobster sauce. But there are some nice mushrooms in here. It's still got a good combination of vegetables. So it's by no means a bad thing. It's still a delicious tasting dish, just not what I thought I ordered. So it is a good thing to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button if you've experienced anything like that before where you didn't get what you thought you expected. And now as I'm destroying the remainder of my Mugu Gai Pan, I hope you destroyed that subscribe button and gave this video a thumbs up for a happy Boxing Day for all of us out there. And uh, they do have interesting plates here. They're very proud of their name, the Five Happiness. Now, this is the one and only time I ever got dessert here was this great chocolate cheesecake. It was such a random surprise. They just had it listed on their specials board. I've never had dessert here other than the fortune cookies, so I gave it a try, and wow, I was blown away. It actually was a really fantastic chocolate cheesecake. 
It really had some fantastic chocolatey flavor. Look at those layers in there. You can tell there's kind of different uh, types of chocolate involved there. So it was really good. And then the cherries that it came with and the whipped cream really gave it a great taste. And if you love chocolate or cheesecake or chocolate cheesecake, and you haven't already, go ahead and smash that thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button. And remember to hit that little bell and I'd really appreciate it as I work on destroying this delicious cheesecake. This cherry is fantastic too. It's quite a nice flavor combo. So we've got kind of multiple types of uh, chocolate flavors going on, that whipped cream that gave it an extra taste flavor. So I'm really surprised here, but this cheesecake definitely threw me for a loop as I was not expecting such a fantastic cheesecake to be coming out of here. Uh, I really had low expectations of what this cheesecake would be like, and I was extremely pleasantly blown away as it was so, so delicious and good. Um, I haven't seen it on the menu since though, so I'm kind of sad because this was definitely one of the better cheesecakes I've had in a while. And I've had a lot of great chocolate cheesecakes, and I'm always in favor of trying a new one. Comment below and let me know where you've had your favorite dessert, and uh, what your favorite dessert is. If you're a big cheesecake fan like me, let me know your favorite flavor of cheesecake. Ooh, because uh, it's always a good time to have a dessert during the holidays, and uh, in New Orleans, we try to have a holiday every day if possible. So. I'm always looking for the next taste sensation of a delicious dessert because uh, it's a good thing to know about. Because uh, who doesn't want to know where the great desserts are in your area? It's always nice to know these things. So, after I finished that, it was time to look at our price comparison. So the Mugu Guy Pan and the combination for lunch was $15.11 before tip. And we do get fortune cookies also with every meal. And then for the garlic chicken, that lunch combo was also $15.11, which I also always get an iced tea, so that includes the iced tea before tip. And then the only dish I wasn't completely thrilled with was the shrimp and lobster sauce, which it was a great dish, it just wasn't what I thought a shrimp and lobster sauce should be. That was $23.99, as that also included that delicious chocolate cheesecake. And so as it's time to head on out the door and go back outside to the real world, Five Happiness is always a great spot to stop off at for some nice Chinese food in New Orleans. So definitely stop in and check it out if you're in the area for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.